This is George from High Tech Legion. Just a couple of weeks ago, we re, uh, reviewed the XSPC Raystorm 750 RS240 liquid cooling kit. Uh, it did take home an Editor's Choice Award pretty easily, offering outstanding cooling, very low noise, and a very affordable price uh, for a, an open loop uh, liquid cooling kit, and it represented a fantastic value. So you can imagine how surprised I was when just a couple of weeks later, I got a note from XSPC telling us that the uh, kit itself was being upgraded. The RS240 radiator was actually being swapped out to the higher performance EX240 radiator, which is optimized for lower uh, RPM fans, meaning better cooling uh, with lower noise. Now, this video is just going to focus on the EX240 itself, along with the effects it had on the kit. If you do want to see the full kit video, there's a link right down in the description if you're watching from YouTube. Naturally, if you're viewing on the High Tech Legion website, the full video is right below this one. So let's take a look at the EX240 radiator. Taking a look at the EX240. The EX240 is a copper and brass core radiator, as you see here, uh, done in matte black. Now, uh, a couple things. You've got the XSPC logo engraved right on the side. Uh, very nice on both sides. It is embossed in there. Very nice finish all the way around, matte black. Nicely done, very evenly coated. Set up for it is a dual 120 millimeter or 240 millimeter radiator if you prefer. Set up obviously for push pull if you like. So you've got space for the four fans and all the mountings using 632 screws. Uh, it does come with um, the screws obviously in the kit for push pull, uh, also as well as for mounting directly to the case itself. Now, if you take a look, you see very, very dense. Uh, fin structure. Typically that is associated with radiators that perform better with higher RPM um, fans. However, the EX240 is actually optimized for lower RPM efficiency. It's got unique uh, heat dissipation characteristics that actually facilitate this. So at lower RPMs you are going to get better cooling than you will um, with other radiators. Now, the um, EX240 does use split fins. Uh, it has unique soldering um, used in the construction to enhance heat dissipation and also uses welded seam tubes. Now on the end you've got two G1 quarter inch plugs obviously on the larger uh, reservoir, or I should say not reservoir but uh, larger feed end so you can use any connectors you like with standard G quarter inch connectors. So now that we've had a look at the EX240 itself and the denser fin structure, we're going to get it installed in the case, run some benchmarks, and take a look at how well it does compared to the RS240. As you can see, after running through the tests, the claims of the uh, EX240 are certainly not unfounded. It offered really phenomenal cooling at lower RPMs on the fans. So what does this translate to? Less noise, better cooling. Uh, on the top end, the overall cooling performance, really very negligible gain with the EX240, but that's not what it's optimized for. What it's looking to do is give you a daily performance that is going to be much quieter, much lower uh, with much lower temperatures, and that's exactly what it did. Um, the RS, or the, I should say, the Raystorm 750 uh, kit fans really don't become noticeable until they hit about 1200 RPM. And as you can see, keeping them around 1050, you're going to get better cooling performance with, I'm talking really silent cooling performance uh, at 1050, and you're going to really get better performance, like I say, than you are with an AIO at, you know, at full bore at 2500 RPM. So it's really just such an incredible upgrade over an AIO, I can't even begin to tell you. Uh, so once again, XSPC comes through with an uh, Editor's Choice Award for the Raystorm 750 EX240 kit. Really phenomenal value, fantastic cooling, incredibly low noise, and now optimized for lower RPM fans.